Okay, Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh and good mo uh, good afternoon okay, to all my students in 6 for 5. So, welcome back to my class, Futures and Options. And I hope everyone of you enjoy your PKP weeks or months. Alright, so we have stopped. Uh, at spreading last time, I think about one month ago. So today we will do arbitraging with FCPO. But before we proceed with arbitraging, I really need you, all my student, to do revision on hedging, speculating and spreading lah. Saya takut lupa dah the difference between hedging, speculating, spreading and uh, one more to come is arbitraging. Okay, so... Let's talk a bit lah about hedging. Hedging again eh. Uh, hedging is about, okay, who are hedges? Hedges are the real owner of uh, the physical commodity. Either you are the uh, refiner, you are the producer, you are the uh, uh, seller of cooking oil. So you are the real owner of real CPO. So you want to hedge again the price risk. Okay. Uh, so what happened in the cash market today? Nothing. It's just your expectation on the price movement later on. So you takut the price is either go up or the price will go down. Okay. And then we uh, we have done speculation. So speculation is when you take only one position. Okay. You take only one position. Either you buy or you sell. Who are you? You are speculators. You don't you don't have any position or interest in the cash market. You merely want to make profit profit okay so based on the price movement of the uh, futures contract lah okay if you expect the price is going to go up you will buy today if you expect the price will go down you will sell today because that is speculation and your position will be marked to market on daily basis as i told you in our last class and then we have done spreading okay let's recap spreading Spreading is taking two opposite positions, alright, simultaneously in order to uh, spread the price risk between two contract months, okay. But if you can still remember when we take these two opposite positions, alright, both positions are actually in the futures ma market. You will think either you will buy one contract and another one you will sell one contract or maybe one contract or two contract depends on the question lah, okay. Alright, and then so you will look at the trend, either the trend is going to be bullish or bearish and then you will look at the few keywords in the question, either the the spread between the opening contract and the closing uh, contract too will be narrowing or widening. Uh, please recall eh, uh, my last lecture on spread, okay. Alright, so there is a few keywords, either it's bullish or bearish, either it's going to be a narrowing or widening spread or you can also look at uh, any keywords or sentences mentioned that distant contract ke nearby contract will fall more or will increase more uh, so those things is uh, very important for you to do spreading question okay so today i will proceed with arbitraging okay Alright, so arbitraging also taking two opposite positions simultaneously. But different from spreading, spreading both position buy and sell in futures market or futures contract. But arbitraging ni lain sikit. You also take two opposite position, you buy and you sell simultaneously but one in cash market and another one in futures market. Okay, so what will happen? Okay. Uh, arbit arbitrager will buy contract, futures contract that is underpriced, okay, and they will sell the futures contract kalau it is overpriced. Maksudnya apa? Here, alright, this is where we need to find the fair value of the future contract first, okay. You have learned uh, investment lah, portfolio lah, so I think you know what does underpriced or what does overpriced means okay tak apa kita recall balik sekejap lagi okay so uh, how to calculate the fair value uh, or the true price or the true value of futures contract so these are the formula all right we will use cash and carry cash and carry arbitrage model okay how to find the fair value the formula all right it's right here we have spot price what is spot price harga 
uh, physical CPO lah. Alright, physical CPO. And then you times with 1 plus I. What is I? I did the interest rate of borrowing times T. T is days to maturity. Over 365 days. Okay. Alright. Tutup kurungan. And then you plus the C. What is C? C is cost of storage. Sometimes we call it carrying cost. Okay. This one, cost of storage ni is uh, per ton and per year per month selalunya. Normally question dia akan bagi per month. So I need you to convert into per year. Maksudnya darab 12 bulan lah. And times T over 365 days. Okay. Uh, so that's how to calculate the fair value. Okay. That is video number one. I shall continue the lecture in video number two. Okay.